Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, I want to talk about uh, these conspiracies that are going on. And uh, uh, the thing is, I, I'm, I'm hoping you all are smart enough to realize everything that we've been fed is all propaganda. Uh, they're manipulating uh, what we do and uh, how we think and this type of stuff. Um, how much of this, of all these therapies that we hear about, how much of it is facts. Well, uh, I'll tell you, I know of little that is facts. Uh, the thing is, uh, using facts is it's, it's something that's not done anymore. Uh, you can't even watch the news and see what the news is, what's been going on. It, it, uh, it's not there. Uh, what, we go right back to what I talk about, is Constitution and, uh, uh morals. And you see there's a lot of unconstitutional things going on. And there's very little moral uh, responsibility that these people are taking. Uh, now, I'm not, I'm not just talking about uh, oh, what this uh, uh, cyber money you know, it's it's, it's going to be the the future and and all this kind of stuff. I'm I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. Well, I am talking about that kind of stuff. It, you know, how much of this is facts and how much of it is BS? Uh, more most of it is BS. There's so much of it uh, that it makes it mean little. It's kind of like if you got a friend that lies to you 10% of the time. Uh, for one thing, uh, it's not much of a friend. You shouldn't even be your friend if you're going to lie 10% of the time. Now, all these uh, therapies that are going on, uh, I mean, uh, 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 you know, like, like I say, the uh, the military is going to round up all these these bad bad people, not only here in the states, but all over the world. You know, I mean, this is all BS. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Rex is enjoying her walk around. So. But I just need to check, make sure everything's gonna be okay. Got a place here that's fenced in. Okay. And you see, it's all bunch been trashed out. Car wash been closed. And it's, it's got bad. Why? Because the people that own this hasn't taken personal responsibility. And I say, that's what's going on. People aren't taking responsibility. They're just saying stuff. And uh, I was talking about a friend that lies 10% of the time. This stuff that you, we hear about, 90% uh, is BS. 10% may be facts. That just lets you know 
how much you should be listening to it. Now we go right back into preparedness. Preparedness is any, any of these things that you hear about, you need to, and it, and it puts some kind of fear in you, you need to prepare for it. Once you prepare, then there's, you won't be scared. Anytime you're prepared for something, you're not scared of anything. You know, so I mean, I mean if you're, uh, if you're worried, okay, here's the look at the weather. You know, it's getting ready to rain. So, if you're worried it's going to rain, you're going to get all wet. You know, that's that's shelter. You need to be looking for shelter. It's it's a it's a sad situation when you get to a point where you're concerned about shelter. This is why you have something that you call a home, something that'll give you shelter. And then after you have this, then you know, worried about the rain. Uh, if your shelter has got holes in it and the rain's going to come through it, you haven't done a good job on preparing. You have to prepare for this. Okay, that's the same thing. I mean, what all this stuff you hear about? They say that they're, uh, you know, there's a they're going to take care of all these bad people. That's all BS. They're not going to. Uh, for the first thing is, that is constitutional. And so far, they've never done anything constitutional. So they're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. And then, now, to uh, a moral person, they would do something about this stuff. And they haven't done anything. So they're not moral people. So moral people aren't going to do anything because there aren't any moral people in the position to do it. The reason we're being told all this stuff is so uh, we can, uh, we will feel like, oh good, I'm lazy. I don't want to take personal responsibility. I don't have to worry about our constitution. I don't have to worry about these sick leaders that we supposedly have that represent us. I don't have to worry about it. Somebody else is taking care of it. This is why they come up with this crap. So then you will just sit back and do nothing. This is why you hear me talk about preparedness. You need to prepare. Because it is something that we have to do. We the people, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we the people have to take care of this stuff. You know, even... We realize uh, elections have, they're just destroyed. They're just fixed. They're no, no different in the way of corruption as everything else is going on. And so now they're saying, well, look, we're doing an investigation on the, on the uh, election, the election fraud. Well, it, they're going to keep doing it. They're not going to find nothing. They're not going to fix it. Why? You have immoral people checking this stuff out. You have immoral people telling you all this stuff. Nobody wants to be part of the Constitution. They, they, the Constitution puts we the people in charge of all this stuff. They don't want we the people in charge of anything. They're going to, they're, for our convenience, we the people, for the convenience of all us, what they're going to do is they will take care of that. And they're not. They're not going to take care of it. So, uh, when you watch all this stuff that they say they're doing this or say they're doing that, they're not. It's that simple. And, but the, another simple thing is you need to be preparing. You need to have guns, ammunition, gold, silver. Uh, you need to be out of debt. You need to think. That's why you hear me talk, uh, I've made a lot of videos talking about stupid. Well, that's why. You have to realize, uh-oh, I've been stupid on this thing and I'm gonna have to change it. <coughs> and so that's what you need to be doing. Taking personal responsibility over your thoughts. Think, don't be stupid, think. And uh, 
now uh, the people here are starting not to wear masks they're starting to think uh, but like I say it's um, it's not a good thing I cannot believe people go out of their way to obey corrupt unconstitutional immoral people I mean I don't even have those kind of people as friends why would I listen to something like that you know what I mean you think just because you belong to the, the government you're some kind of bureaucrat of some level you think you can tell me what to do it doesn't work that way it may you may have been taught that but you've been taught wrong you fall into the stupid category think but you can only take personal responsibility when you prepare for it. I, I, I don't know. I, I get a lot of people that think the government does what more than what it does. I don't know why they think the government does this stuff when the government hasn't shown to do what it's supposed to do. I mean, here, it's a simple town like Topeka, Kansas. The roads are crappy. They don't fix them. They want more in taxes. There's more in corruption that's going on. Uh, I mean, like I say, look at the place. It's, it's crappy. Yeah, you know I mean, we're talking about, uh, uh, I was talking about uh, health inspectors and stuff. Okay, here, where's the health inspector? Where? Huh? I mean, this is what I'm saying. This stuff is health issues. This stuff needs to be taken care of. The real, not put on a mask. That's not health. That's obedience. You know what I mean? They want to scare you. When you're in fear, you will do as you're told. And why don't I do? I don't do everything that I'm told. Why? Because I'm not in fear. It's not that complicated. But it does take personal responsibility. This is Mike. No stress Mike. Dot com.